guys once again i apologize for the bad weather uh, we've got a bit of wind out here what you can see behind me is mark longstaff's brand new range rover luma uh, it's a range rover sport fully loaded vehicle with a uh, obviously it's been sent off and had the luma kit fitted it's got massive wheels i'm gonna read you through the full spec i've just got back to the workshop and seen this set outside so obviously i'm excited mark's clearly going to be excited i'm gonna go up and have a quick word with him i'm gonna grab the keys come down and we're gonna do a full spec <laughs> It's like Mark's dog. Hi. Hello. Are you interested in that? Thanks. What am I doing here? Right, we're back outside in the wind. I've just been in, indoors. Uh, Mark's obviously on the phone, so I didn't have much time to talk to him. I've collected the keys for the vehicle that you can see behind me. Let's have a quick looky. There we go. This is Range Rover Lummer. Uh, we are outside the Revit Up building, so he has just collected the vehicle. And what I want to do before the wind blows me away is get inside and have a better look. So we're going to have a quick walk around the car. Uh, we'll have a quick nosy around it, have a look at the wheels, what sizes they are. And then we'll sit in it and I'll go through the spec with you. This car is huge. Uh, I am looking at it for the first time, so I'm walking around the vehicle with you guys. Let's just have a, have a quick quick nosy around the sides. I won't keep us outside too long because it is a bit windy and I don't have a proper microphone yet. Uh, I have got one coming in the next couple of weeks. Where are we? So he collected this vehicle from SMC earlier today. Uh, he did buy it last week, but he... Uh, Obviously wasn't able to collect it collect it immediately. Just gonna have a quick stroll around the side. I do not know what that is. That could be something to do with uh, the Luma guys. And on the back we've got Luma CLRR. Yeah, that is that that little font on the right was something to do with Luma. If you come down there, we had the Revit Up UK decals added. I think it's going in for a full full sticker at some point. These rear exhausts are huge. The tailpipes are massive. Uh, I did go and look at this vehicle with Mark when he was looking to purchase it. So we did go. Uh, we went in a week or so ago and had a look at it. I'm just going to move back so we can get a better view of the vehicle from this side. And we'll go back round to the front. Apologies for the shaky camera. I'm just holding it with one hand. Right, so back here, you can see the car again. There's our Revit Up logo. I'll just go down a bit so you can get a better, better look at it. And there's our Revit Up sign at the top uh, with our information, you know, contact, uh, Facebook and email details. But I'm more interested in this vehicle. Let's have a look at these wheels. Jesus. 305-3522s. That's a big old rubber on those on those wheels and we'll go to the back and i'm guessing they're the same size all round uh most of these vehicles are and that's again we've got 305 35 zr22 Vredstein uh tires all round so we'll just move back we'll have one more shot on the side and then we'll go in and go through the spec all right we are now sat outside the range rover luma as you can see behind me there's the interior uh, I'm now about to get in the vehicle. I've not been in it before. I can smell this vehicle is very new inside. So I doubt it's done many miles. Uh, I doubt the car has been driven much. Uh, I do know who the previous owner is and he owns several cars. He owns a GT3 RS, uh, two Porsche Cayman GT4s. You know, he's got quite a lot of cars. So I doubt he would have driven this as much as a uh, you know, I doubt he would have used it a lot because he owns several, several other motors. But now we're going to get in the car and we'll have a quick look around. Right, guys, I've started the engine. Uh, so we can see it's in P and it's just idling. I've just started it because I've had the door open for a while and it does draw power from the, uh, from the battery. But if I come into the centre console, we've got our address for Revit Up, which is obviously Rector's Lane. Uh, it looks like it says Manchester after there, but we're Rector's Lane in Sandycroft, so that's where we're based. Uh, now I'm going to go up here, you can see our start-stop button. If I move the camera over slightly again, you can see we've got our uh, idle, obviously the P sign, and over on the right-hand side we've got our speedometer. We do need some fuel in there, so I'll, I'll get some diesel in here a little bit later on. Have a look over this side. You've got your uh, switches and mirrors, obviously, to lift and lower the mirrors. We've got our door lock and unlock. We've got our memory, so we can teach it three different positions for the steering wheel and the driver's seat. If I have a look at this steering wheel, 
I'm not sure you can see on here, but this whole wheel is clad in leather, including the center part here. It's a pretty special vehicle. These pedals, Jesus. Let's have a look at these. Down here, we've got a lovely big footrest. This is obviously part of the Luma kit. And there we've got a decent sized brake pedal so I can get my foot on there. I do drive with two feet when I drive automatic vehicles and I can sit there comfortably with both feet. That feels pretty, feels pretty sweet. I'm now gonna come back to the center console. You've got your air con bits here, so obviously you can control how, how hot or cold it is on each side, on either side, apologies. Down here, you've got your gear selector. Now, I do know how to use these, I've driven these before. So you have your foot on the brake and then you turn the wheel towards whichever way you want it. Down here, we've got some settings that I'm never going to attempt to learn or use. I'll just leave it in road position. And further down, we've got some more. Oh, we've got traction off, that looks like fun. Auto start on and off. I'm glad that's remembered to stay off, so that's, that's just not gonna come on at all, I don't think. And lastly, we've got the parking brake. Over on the left, we've got your seats. Let's have a look down here. So that'll be the same as mine. I can see there's a tag here. There could be a how to look after them or how to care for the leather. If you look at the back, this is insane. That is fully packed, that's fully loaded. The car has got really, really nice seats all around. There's tons of leg room between, you know, between the rear seats and the front seat. So I could happily sit in the back of this. And there's your other seat there. I'll keep the interior uh, video brief. Let's have a quick look here. So for space, we've got two compartments here uh, and a 12 volt obviously power supply and lastly just to show you guys we've got a cubby hole with space for obviously business cards just there uh possibly a credit card at the top and then we've got some more space obviously usb aux another usb just for data and a secondary charging slot and i'm guessing that this small slot here would be for your mobile phone all right so i'll get that closed we've got two armrests as well in case we didn't spot those there's an armrest there and an armrest here obviously for cruising last shot of the steering wheel and we'll get back outside so here we have uh mark's range rover luma as we've just been through the vehicle i've just spoken you through parts of the uh you know the interior and the instrument cluster bits that are on the car i forgot to mention it has only done 782 miles so this vehicle hasn't been used at all yes once again i apologize for the wind guys you can see behind me there's mark's range rover luma i won't do a full review until we go out in it tonight we are, he's going to be picking me up after work we're going to go out for a spin uh take for a good old drive and see what it's like get some food and that as well uh as for that that's the video i'll get this uploaded now there's someone driving past me pagan yeah someone someone driving past me right he's gone so We'll go out in the car, I'll give it a good old drive. Mark will obviously drive it as well. The car has only got 700 miles on the car, or 728, 782, I can't remember now. It's really low mileage, it's never been driven, hence the reason it smells so clean. It looks pretty sweet, you know. Mark's well chuffed with it, he's really happy with this car. I will get myself in it this evening uh, and do another review on the car tomorrow. Cheers. Oh, this, you crazy mother.